Hi, welcome to product review by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can test three servo motor, these SG90 servo using the servo tester, either the metal version or this uh, non-metallic version to control and test them. Servo motor quickly to tell you is a type of motor that rotates only 180 degrees. Uh, from for example, if we assume this as zero, then we have 180 degrees uh, on this side. Assume this is if this is zero, then we will have 180 degrees on the other side, and it uh, needs a pulse width modulation signal to be controlled. Mm. Servo has three wires. Uh, this the darker wire the brown or black is always ground the middle wire is always the power usually it is 5 volts for this small servo and the last pin which is orange or you will see it white this will be the signal where the signal is controlling the servo so both of these have the same type of connector in many applications uh, for receivers and um, cars and in drones they connect this directly to the flight controller or uh, board this, uh, this servo controller is sold on ebay aliexpress or amazon it's very cheap you can get it between two to ten dollars this is the input it has been labeled as n three pins have been labeled as negative positive and s you see that negative positive and s that's the negative that's a positive this doesn't matter so this will power this up as you can see the light is on you will connect your negative wire on this side this goes to my negative part of the battery and this goes to my 5 volts and uh, this is the knob that you can control here we have three ports and on this side this is the out and it says negative positive and s negative positive and s means signal so this is the sg90 servo and to, con to connect it you can insert three servo with this i'm connecting it like that the negative is on this side and insert it on the connector here both of these they have the same exact connector and pay attention to the negative on the other side make sure that you hold this such that the darker wire is on the other side just insert it and for the other one as well and the third one now, now I have inserted them and here it shows in man and manual I'm going to also test it with this in manual the, now it's at the minimum if I rotate this it goes to the maximum this doesn't go now fully at the maximum because it doesn't send enough signal i believe i'm going to show you because right now if this is uh, if this long is here 180 should be on the other side now it doesn't go 180 maybe it goes around 150 or something and the same for here this should go on the other side but you can immediately test your servo if it is operating or not and now i'm on uh, manual i press it in neutral as soon as i press it in neutral all of them supposed to go at the neutral point or at the middle because in flight controller or in cars you will have a steering and have left right and the middle so this will take them immediately to the center and if i press it in auto this will send continuous signal to test your servo and three wires as you can see on this side is negative and the middle one is uh, positive now i'm connecting it to this non-metallic version positive is always at the middle don't make mistake and then the negative on this side now it is powered up the same for this one the negative is on this side
and the same here I've inserted all the dark color on this side where it says negative and then the S is on the other side three is now connected the light the manual is on so I can control it now when I press select with the neutral the light moves here all of them are supposed to go to the middle they are approximately at the middle and if I press it again it goes at the auto and automatically sends to control the three servo in the same time And if you're just testing without a load, even this MG996 or 996R, you can do that as well. Now I've connected this larger motor. You can test this larger metal gear motor as well, as long as there is no load with this, because this doesn't have enough power to make that rotate. And let's go on auto. And the same with the me metallic version. Thank you for watching. This was how to test the servo with the servo tester. If you learned something and found it useful, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And make sure to subscribe so you will get updates of my upcoming videos.